Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia HD Blind. Let's do this. You really think you're gonna live through this? Um, I certainly hope I will. Can this thing die yet? I would super appreciate if you would just freaking die. Um, maybe I should have brought Raid in here. How do I change my person? That's how. Excel, I can't control her. Why can't I control Lloyd? I thought that was supposed to help me. There we go. Must have accidentally put him on auto. Okay. 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 Doing okay so far. You want to go ahead and use a orange gel so you can keep healing? Okay. Genus, you need an apple gel. You also need to move away from him. We had this conversation last time. Um, I don't know why I didn't use all my attacks. That was dumb. 
Genis, move away from him. Am I able to jump now? I wasn't able to jump before. Dennis, why are you so bad at moving away? You even have TP now. Awesome! I beat him that time. I mean, yeah, that's kind of obvious, but I still was not entirely sure I was going to win. So I'm quite, quite happy that I did. Cook. Awesome. I'm doing all kinds of cool stuff. I'm the best. Uh, how? How could a superior half elf like me? Well, Magnus, you're pretty good, but let me tell you what your problem is. You see, you don't identify yourself as your own person. All you identify yourself is half of an elf. I mean, that's just an inferiority complex right there. You should invent a new term for yourself, like, I don't know, uh, Desion. If you just call yourself a design instead of a half elf, you might feel better about yourself. It's because you are a fool, Legris. Crucius has accepted Colette as the chosen. What? That's right. Colette is going to regenerate the world. We're not gonna lose to someone like you. Yeah, we're gonna lose to other people later. So you're then I was deceived. By whom? Will you go into more detail? I bet you won't. Nope. <laughs> Boy. Damn it. Where are they? They're outside. This should allow the people imprisoned in the ranch to escape. What about the X spheres implanted in? And um, Rain, how do you know how to use this? I mean, I understand you're a sage, and you know all kinds of about, about med tech, but I know a whole lot about computers. I could just walk up to a computer and suddenly understand whatever program happened to be installed. Do you have personal experience with imprisonment <laughs> protocols? <laughs> We've already been over this, Janice. No, you can't. It's dangerous to attempt to remove an X sphere lacking a key crust. I would imagine only a dwarf could handle it. Well, we know a dwarf, but I have to say, that's not a very good security. You know, I don't. I guess I don't know how many dwarves there are in the world, but I have to figure an entire race that could do this is, you know, it's just it's just a weird statement to make. I guess. Awesome, yeah, take it down. Are you serious? Rain, if you do that, at the very least, we'll deal a major blow to the design stranglehold over this region. If we're going to strike them, it should be thorough and decisive. I actually agree with her. I just, I again, want to know how she just happens to know how to make a design ranch blow up. Rain? Remember, Genus, we're not like them. We're different. We're much more effective. Go. We can do this. I must inform or cease us while I can. Aren't you dead? I I am bad at killing you. I have a slight problem with you contacting Lord Forcistus. Interesting. Is that an elf or a half elf? I I can't actually tell the difference that easily. I'm the only thing I know is the two elves I've seen so far have white hair, but I assume that's not for the entire race. Was there? 
Interesting. So what is Rodile's game? Is he related to the... Um, I have to... So yeah, that's that actually makes a lot of sense. Because the half-elves before really didn't know who the Chosen was or knew that, know that the temple was attacked. And that's probably the same here. There's probably just a subsect that's trying to kill her off. I wonder if it's self-preservation because the Chosen typically kills off so many Desaians, or if it's because they actually have a different plan. I bet it's the latter. I bet there's something else I don't know yet. Really? I've really liked this so far, but really they used Yggdrasil? I mean, I haven't seen a direct reference to another story in the game yet. Awesome. What about chocolate? Chocolate. The Neil, please get out of here too. Hurry! What? It's going... It's going to explode. Ooh, do I actually get a... Yes, I... No, I don't. Dang it. Well, that wasn't the most amazing explosion I've ever seen. I, I thought I was going to die. I'm glad everyone's all right. Uh, what, what about chocolate? I think she was taken to another location. I see. If she's alright, she can still be rescued. Yes. If you learn Chocolate's location, please let us know immediately. That is not his voice at all. I'm sorry, I forgot his suave voice. Yes. If you learn Chocolate's location, please let us know immediately. Even Dor really wanted to save her. How do you know that, Neil? We're the ones to talk to Dor once he, like, became himself again. Right. I swear we'll find her. Also, the captains have something called an X-Fear embedded in them. It's dangerous to leave them as they are now. You need to send a letter in my name to a dwarf named Dirk who lives in Acelia. I'm sure he'll help you get them removed. Dirk in Acelia. I understand. Then, I shall go back to the city. Please, stop by Pamacosta and visit us again. Anytime. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of here? I want to leave. Oh, it's gonna... I thought this was like the edge. Uh, there was like bushes or something. The way things wound up, Chocolat left without even you hear what really happened. What she did hear was still the truth. But it's the Desaians who are the fault. It's not your fault. Incompetent good intentions will only bring tragedy. What'd you say? If you intend to do what is right, you need the strength to accompany that. You lacked that. You were too weak. How can you say that? Lloyd was... Lloyd was... Genis, it's okay. I don't like to admit it, but Kratos is right. I won't forget what I learnt, felt back there. I won't forget that Marble and the people of the village lost their lives. Yes, that's right. Power is more than just physical strength. The strength to acknowledge your crimes, the strength to remember them, you must have that as well. All right. Makes sense. Magnus. Hmm. Well, what is it, Lloyd? Those last things he said were kind of strange. You mean, about being deceived? I wonder who he was deceived by. There's no way to know now. Oh, I know. What? what? No, what? Magnus thought he, the fake chosen was us. 
I, I see that everything would make sense. No, it doesn't. If that was the case, the imposters would have been killed by now. Just as Rain said, there's no way for us to know now. But Magnus is dead. Isn't that enough? Yeah, I guess so. Still, I really thought we'd figured it out. Okay, so speaking of that... Um, I need to go and get that one thing for the guy to... Wow, I'm so good at descriptions. I need to get the one thing for the guy. Alright. Yeah, I need to go back to the temple in order to get the item that will let me progress past this area. Whoa, and I'm getting some weird lag. I hope that goes away. I'm not a big fan of lag. I'm not a small fan of lag. Too. Wow, guys! <laughs> they were just... That was a freaking ambush! Hey guys! You say you want the spiritual statue? I, I know it's a brazen request, but it's for the world regeneration. Please, Father. The spiritual stone is marvelous, don't you think? If you say your prayers in front of it, your feelings will be even stronger. Bring the statue here. My, my most humble apologies. The spiritual statue is actually a fake I had placed here. What? What are you talking about? I, I lost the spiritual statue during the pilgrimage a year ago. The pilgrimage to the, is the Church of Martell's spiritual training journey, right? Why would you take the statue along with you? The halo on the head of the spiritual statue is made up of diamond. We always take it with us when we go out on pilgrimages in order to protect it from thieves. On the trip last year, I followed that custom as usual, and I brought the spiritual statue to Thonda Island. But there, I accidentally dropped it into the geyser. Why'd you have to take it to a place like that? I'm terribly sorry. I was so moved to see the geyser for the first time. By the time I realized that the statue had fallen into the rocks on the other side of the geyser. Desperate, I paid a dwarf who lived in the Salian and had him make something just like it. Oh, that'd be Dirk. <laughs> it's very good work. It's just what I expect from Dirk. Dad, just got out jobs. What jobs are you doing? Well then, what shall we do now? Do you think the fake will fool that old man? That doesn't seem likely. It's well built, but it's still a fake. Just as is the diamond. Um, um, how about if we go get the real one? You want to go all the way to Thronda Island? And on top of that, the rocky areas on the other side of the geyser, correct? Y yes Yeah, we the problem is the geyser. The problem is the geyser. Even I'll pass on getting hit with boiling water. Oh my lord, you remember the geyser erupts with boiling water. I'm so proud. Lloyd, you're a me. You're amazing! Of course, everyone knows that. I bet you just guessed. Sh shut up! If only we could stop the geyser. I've heard that the eruption cycle of Thunder Island geyser is quite short. I wonder if we can seal it with something. That's it! We'll have Gina seal it with magic! M magic? How? Like, cover it with ice or something? Uh, okay, I'll give it a try. You better be grateful. <laughs> Dwarven vow number one. Let's all work together for a peaceful world. We're counting on you, Mr. Genius Magician. 
So how the heck do I get to Thonda Island then? I do not know the answer to my own question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a room. Yeah, man, freaking, you just like watch me all night, freaking creeper. Talking about your hair, watching cool at sleep. Get out of here. Say, Jinnis, was I wrong after all? Are you talking about chocolate? Y yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure she'll understand someday. I hope so. Alright, so I I'm assuming I have to go back to the port because I don't think going up to the trail will do anything for me. Because that just wouldn't make any sense. And they said it was an island, so obviously I have to rent a ship and go somewhere. Um, okay. Oh, you're still up? Oh, there, there must have been two of you. I even noticed there was a third archer, or second archer. Third range character. Alright. No, I don't want to fight with any of you guys. I hit, hit once more before I get back to the town, because that's just the way this game works. Well, move, sir. No, I think I'll make it. I was expecting to see like flying from the side as I got to the little. Would you like to prepare close to prompt? I realize that that's just really a you don't have to walk everywhere thing. Um, how do I get to the where I'm going? Obviously, you won't take me. Obviously, the story of that door has gotten out. I'm really just interested in the port and going on. Is that, will that ship just take me? That seems like the obvious move at this point. Steam isn't that dangerous. Gives you a lot of cool, cool games. Your mom just doesn't want you slacking off and playing games all the time. Is this not the same ship we came on? No, the ship we came on didn't have cannon. Wow, it, it's really big. Don't you think so, Lloyd? Well, well, it's amazing. I mean, uh, nah. It's not really anything to get excited about. It's as big as our village church. It can't possibly be that big. I'm surprised, kids. Well, this is the pride of Pamacosta, the latest in technological achievement, the steamship Isabel. We named it after a Dragon Age 2 character. 
What, Sheena! <laughs> you were the worst assassin ever! Wow, I heard they were behind the times, but this sure is an ancient design. Well, they can't possibly be using steam as a power source. I need to figure out her voice. I need to hear her talk more. Hey, how dare you insult our Isabel? Ah, oh, shut up. What are you getting so worked up about? I'm... J just remember, you're dead the next time we meet. Isn't that the same? Pretty much the same thing she said last time. So how do I? Can you take me somewhere? Um, I vote for me. Can I have control of the ship? I should have places I'd like it to go. Okay, so obviously I have to talk to somebody in town in order to get the ship to move. It's probably going to be Neil. That would just make sense, because Neil was door second in command. Hello, Neil. I cannot thank you enough. Please stop by again any time. Okay, so apparently it's not Neil. So who am I supposed to talk to, then? Anything down here? Can't imagine there would be. I can't go out the exit that's there, but totally not there. Hmm. I am not entirely sure whom I should be speaking to. That's right, I use whom correctly. I'm smart. Anyone in here important? What does that actually do? Because I like my gold. I'm really not entirely sure what I should be looking for here. This is the school. Maybe I can't leave until I discover where Chocolat went. So let me go talk to Chocolat's mom. It's the only thing I can really think of. Plus, it's all the save points, so if there's nothing there, I'll just probably end the episode. Let you all tell me I'm dumb in comments for not immediately knowing where to go. Actually, no, you guys are pretty good about not being jerks. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'd like to talk to Chocolat's mom. Oh, wait, no. She was not at the inn. Uh, she was at the item shop. Item shop is here, I think. Or no, is this the cat house? No. What? Oops. I did not actually mean to do that. Oh well. I got a lot of gold for beating um, Magnius. But still, I can't believe I actually bought that. Whoops. Sh chosen one. Everyone. Please, tell me what has happened to Chocolat. Uh, I'm sorry, it's my fault. Because of me, Chocolat is... W what do you mean? I... Marble was... Lloyd saved Marble when she was assaulted at the Celia Ranch, but... 
fade out of exclamation. I, I see. I didn't know such a thing has happened to my mother. I'm sorry. I... I was prepared for something like this from the moment she was taken away to the ranch. But Chocolat was very close to her. What has become of Chocolat? She's alive. But we was taken away to a different ranch. However... I promise I'll rescue Chocolat. I won't let her become like Marble. I swear it. I'll continue to keep the sword going. For her sake as well. Please, save my daughter. Okay, well, I talk to you now. I need four of those. Did I end up using my... What the heck? Interesting. So I did that and talked to her about her daughter. Um, I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, I wander around the village until I find out what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Because I bet now that I've talked to that, Neil will tell me what to do, most likely. No, 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 I've spent enough money. So anyway, I will see you... I will thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time for more Let's Play Tales of Symphonia HD Blind with your host, Damiel SC.